Abi Ahmed extended an invitation to John Lee Anderson in an attempt to improve his image and gain coverage on New Yorker magazine. However, this move had the opposite effect, resulting in an unintended outcome. During a helicopter trip through the countryside, he turned away from the view and declared how much he loved the US. Really, he said, America is a beautiful country, and the Americans are very good people, and I know the country, maybe better than some Americans. I've driven from Washington all the way to California. After Abby's time in the military, he worked for the government in cybersecurity and intelligence and spent some time in US training programs. In the Iraq war, I fought with them, he said. I was the one who would send intelligence from this part of the world to the NSA, on Sudan and Yemen and Somalia. The NSA knows me. I would fight and die for America. Abi gave a disgusted wave of his hand. Then these guys came. He was referring to the Biden administration. They don't know who their true friends are. Abi Ahmed's statement is not just infuriating, it was highly unpatriotic, deeply disturbing, undignified, and deeply unsettling. Such statement is beneath the dignity of any leader entrusted with the responsibility of leading a nation.